One thing that I've noticed is that my hair tends to get matted. Yes, matted. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it has officially been six months since I first got my Gina Curl Curly Perm from Hair's Talent Salon in Connecticut. And I just wanted to give you a quick update on my thoughts on the Gina Curl and how everything has been going for the past six months. And I want to be completely transparent and really tell y'all the ups and downs so you guys know what you may experience or what you may not experience. I have skipped a few steps. <laughs> I definitely, I know, probably contributed to some of the downsides that I experienced. But if you follow the rules, I'm sure you'll be okay. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first thing that I wanted to talk about was that my expectations versus reality with the Gina Curl, they definitely were not in line <laughs> of what I thought was gonna happen. So I thought once I got this curly perm, my hair would be like silky and very, very easy to detangle. And you know, a brush could easily go through it. And that just not, that is just not what. <laughs> not what i thought it definitely is easier detangling my hair now than it was before but it's definitely not a walk in the park where you could just like throw water on it and just brush through it uh, -uh. it definitely needs a lot of conditioner it definitely needs a lot of moisture because one thing that i've noticed is that my hair tends to get matted yes matted I still need to figure out the products that will help me with that, with detangling, with matting, with shedding, everything. The products that I used in my wash day routine that I recorded for y'all, I am not using anymore. So I'll give y'all updated wash day routine before I get my next Gina Curl really soon. But that probably contributed to it. My hair was not like silky like I thought it was gonna be. And this was right from the beginning too. When I washed my hair, maybe like the second or third time, I noticed that like if you stretched out the hair near like the center-ish and a little bit sometimes at the end, it would be like mad the hairs would be stuck together if i separated i don't know why that is like i said this was way before like the months started passing this was like since the beginning so i think it might have been the products that i chose to use it might have been the can too and you know all that stuff so i'm definitely not using that can too anymore that just wasn't it it wasn't it. So yeah, that was one thing that I would say my expectations didn't meet reality with that. But like I said, it takes less time for me to tangle my hair now than it did before. So even though my expectations didn't meet reality, I'm still happy with the amount of time that it takes me to detangle my hair. The second thing I noticed, you have to wash your hair two times per week. Guys, if you cannot wash your hair two times per week, you're gonna have a hard time, especially when your new growth comes in and stuff. My theory is you're supposed to wash it two times per week and you're supposed to detangle it because the shed hair will get stuck and it will cause your hair to get matted and your hair will be dry and it will be tangled. With the schedule that I have right now with medical school and everything, it is too hard for me to wash my hair two times per week. And I've just had to deal with the consequences pretty much. Like I would have matting, I would have tangles and you know, that's my fault at the end of the day for not being able to do what the instructions tell me to do. So I highly recommend following those instructions because if you don't, you will have a hard time. I'm telling you, you will have a hard time. I will say the one thing that in the beginning made me kind of nervous about washing two times a week is because my hair would shed. I felt like when I first got my Gina Curl that first month, my hair, I felt like it was shedding a lot. I didn't know if I was overreacting. I'm still not really sure about it. I know a lot of you are probably gonna be like, your hair looks thinner, your hair looks this and that. Obviously when you get a perm or anything that strains your hair, curls out, your hair's gonna look thinner. I never had dense hair from the beginning. Like my hair, even though I had a lot of it, once I straightened it, you would see I didn't, it didn't look like I had that much hair. Like it was pretty easy to straighten. Um, it wasn't like, you know, crazy thick, unfortunately. I, I wish my hair was crazy thick, but it's not. So when you put that curly perm on it, it kind of really shows your true fineness of your hair and it makes your hair look really thin. So every time I wash my hair, it looks very thin. Um, in the wall like in the shower but it makes sense because if you think about like you know people who have like straighter hair like very loose curls when their hair is wet it looks thin then you they come out and it's dry and these like these huge beautiful curls you're like how did that's like a magic trick like how did that happen i feel like the gina curls kind of like that a little bit where when you're in the shower and when i show you guys how i wash my hair it looks so thin like i'm like do i have any hair on my head then when it dries i'm like okay yeah i still have hair on my head so in the beginning it felt like it was shedding a lot but it has calmed down a lot i'm just happy that i still have hair on my head you see this bun so that's what the whole shedding thing when you have tightly coiled hair it's just like it kind of like all you know shrinks a little bit i guess it doesn't look like you shed a lot but with straight hair it kind of like looks like a lot more strands because they're straight 
another thing i want to say about the shedding you can tell the difference between shred shedding and breakage if you have shedding the hairs are usually really long because they're the whole length of your hair and it just comes right out of your scalp and you see a little white bulb at the end that lets you know that your hair is shedding if your hair is breaking your the sh pieces are usually much shorter and it's because your hair is breaking maybe like halfway down the shaft and it's coming off and i have experienced both so the shedding was more in the beginning it kind of died off it stopped the breakage is also my fault everything has been my fault i'm telling y'all like it's all my fault do not do what i do this is why i'm like sharing my story and experience with y'all so y'all cannot i can avoid doing what i did there's a little bit of breakage like in the front especially on this side and it's because i did like the style for a long time where i would wear the back out and then i'll put the front two pieces in a ponytail so that that could kind of like hide the new growth a little bit so i'll slick it back into a ponytail and do that with a rubber band and i feel like the rubber band like broke off my hair so you'll see like you'll see a short piece and then you'll see like the long piece in the rest of my hair and the rest of my hair is like the regular length and then you'll just see little short pieces that's how you know when you've had breakage if all of your hair in the same spot isn't like lining up to the correct length then you know your hair has broken off and i mean that's obviously gonna happen if you're continuously putting rubber bands and i put them tight too like they were real tight like i would put the rubber band in and like pull it a little bit and you're gonna have breakage with that so um, I didn't realize that at the time and you know you live and you learn it's okay like my hair will grow back eventually but there's definitely been some breakage at least at the front of my hair the rest of my hair I think has been fine overall besides this piece in the front the breakage has been minimal I would say I got this Gina curl to try new things and I don't want to leave my hair down all the time you know so I do put my hair in like slick buns and all that um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention is that my hair my curls did loosen over time just as a heads up for everybody that's getting this that's just my personal experience i know some people had the same curls in the beginning than they did at the end me mine's did loosen over time for people that are going in to get their gina curl i'm looking at the size they're like this is perfect if you see a size that you think is perfect you might want to go a little bit tighter because eventually your curls might loosen to that size if that makes sense so when i go in for my next one i'm definitely going to get a smaller rod size but it did loosen and you know that's fine i mean if you're continuously doing styles where you're slicking your hair back your hair curls are gonna loosen the curls are still there like curls waves whatever you want to call them my hair is, the, whole, the whole point is that my hair is not completely straight like i got a, a straight relaxer it's not completely straight so that's fine with me then another thing i want to say is i did not trim my hair like i was supposed to i was supposed to trim my hair a long time ago like when i first got my gina curl and it was nice and fresh and new and i never got around to doing that so that i feel like definitely which is important to mention i feel like that definitely contributed to my hair getting tangled and matted sometimes especially near the ends most of the tangling sometimes happened like near the middle so i don't know about that but at the ends of my hair your hair can definitely get tangled matted not all that stuff so that could also be contributing to me having those problems when i go to hair salon salon for my touch up i'm definitely gonna get a trim i'm just at this point i'm not gonna trim my hair myself i'm just gonna leave it alone and you know let them do their thing and i will show y'all how much they cut off and all that so it's just expectations reality you expect it to be super easy super perfect reality is you know some days you have tangles some days you have not you have to really take care of your hair you can't neglect it because if you neglect it it's just not gonna be a good time honey like it's not washing two times a week sounds easy but my schedule is not easy for some people you're like oh yeah it's a piece of cake but it's not easy what i thought wash my hair in 20 minutes be ready to go reality it takes maybe like two hours to wash and detangle my hair the thing is it's still cut in half the time that i did with my natural hair so when i have my natural hair take me like three four hours to wash and detangle it and then i would have to go back and do a twist out and braid out which would take at least another hour or two so with this is nice because i mean although, although it takes me like two hours to wash and detangle it once i wash and detangle it i'm done like i just let it let it air dry and that's it so i'm cutting back from two hours to do the whole thing versus what like four five six hours before so you know i'm completely happy with that like in reality you, you still have to put in some work for your hair you still have to take care of it so. i know i listed a whole bunch of negatives but i really do love my hair y'all like i know i'm sounding like i'm bashing it and i'm like upset about it but no i have no regrets about it i'm really happy that i got it i'm really happy that i can do it quickly and get out the door despite the challenges like i have no regrets and i'm excited for my next one and i know it's just gonna get better from here everything i've been going through is all trial and error i'm not gonna do everything perfectly and i'm just gonna figure it out what makes me even happier that i got this is like i saw a instagram post on here's talents page and it was a girl that has gotten her ninth gina curl and i'm like wow like the fact that this girl has gotten nine gina curls and she still has hair on her head and like she's still happy with it it just shows the longevity of this process 
this and i know there's still gonna be people in my comments talking about girl you should have just got this and that girl guess what i ain't want this and this and that i wanted this that i have on my head like <laughs> so y'all don't even have to go in there saying oh you should you could have just got a regular straight perm your hair looks straight anyway but i didn't want that so I didn't want it. <laughs> I don't want my hair to be completely straight. Oh, well, you could have just got like a jerry curl. I didn't want that. Anything else? Like, <laughs> now nah, I'm playing with y'all. But for real, like, I appreciate your your suggestions. Actually, I'm, I'm happy that y'all leaving some of those comments because it, it may help other people who are on my YouTube and looking in the comments for an alternative. Letting people know, you know, what other options are available for them because everybody deserves something that's going to make them happy. Whether it's a jerry curl, a gina curl, a whatever curl, a relaxer, a perm, like natural hair whatever's gonna keep somebody happy and it makes them happy that's what they should do and that's how i feel but as you can see still have hair on my head six months later for everybody thought i was gonna be bald headed i mean bun looking healthy period this is just kind of like an old wash and go that i put into a bun i'm gonna show y'all what my wash and go routine looks like at the moment definitely don't use that can anymore and not using the aussie moist either but yeah thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one bye guys